Today I have the pleasure of speaking with George Glazier of Western Uranium and Vanadium Corps. How are you today, George? Real good, Tracy. Good to speak with you again. Well, George, it's a real pleasure to have this opportunity to speak to you. It's my understanding North America's number one source of vanadium. Is that correct? I th these are the rumors I'm hearing. Well, the Sunday Mine Complex certainly is one of the best, if not the best, mine in North America for vanadium. A series of five mines with very, very high-grade vanadium. And of course, you just put out some very big news. On uh, November 28th, you put out a news report on how you're planning to provide a Sunday Mine Complex reopening update. Can you talk to us a little bit about this news release? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, early next year, we will open the Sunday Mine, which was operated uh, in 2009. And so the mine is ready to go. So we'll open it early 2019 get it ready for production in the second half of 2019. So the mine is virtually ready. We're going to go in and assess the high-grade vanadium that we know is in there and then lay out the mining plan to start mining in the second half. Well, we're getting a lot of Twitter action, a lot of tweets about you. And one of the uh, potential investors out there sent me an email asking about how you're planning on sending your ore overseas for processing. Could you address that? Well, yeah, vanadium ore can be shipped anywhere in the world. You've got to have an export license, which is not difficult to get. You know, the U.S. exports all kinds of commodities, including a lot of coal. And so the vanadium ore will be exported, you know, much like we export other commodities. Of course, it'll be in a container. But we're going to ship this overseas for processing. There's a big demand for the vanadium. Uh, processing plants are already ready to go with no feedstock. So that's our plan at least for the first couple of years, uh, moving into building a new vanadium plant in the U.S., uh, you know, which will take a few years, a couple of years. And of course, George, with vanadium prices absolutely surging and, and such an, an incredible demand globally right now, there's a lot of misinformation out there. Uh, one person was uh, uh, tweeting about how your ore may potentially be radioactive. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Because that well, obviously is incorrect. Yeah, our vanadium ore, the vanadium standalone in the Sunday mine, is no more radioactive than the coal we ship. You know, the United States coal mines have a little radioactivity. Radioactivity is everywhere, you know, in very low quantities. So that's a, the, what the vanadium has in it is very low radioactivity. There's no restriction on shipping that kind of stuff. Not, we wouldn't be shipping coal around the world. So, George, thank you for addressing that particular mis misinformation. Can you also address a lot, there's a lot of misinformation about the real demand for vanadium out there. Is there a real shortage or not? Well, there clearly is. That's why the price has gone to over $30. The commodity doesn't move up in price unless there's shortages. You know, with the Chinese cutting back their production, you know, that affected the world price. Uh, and, you know, again, how long that lasts? When can you bring on new production? That's the question. And we're one of the first ones that's going to be able to bring that production to bring the supply demand back into balance. You now, what price is needed for new mines? You know, you take a look at the production that could come in, and it's at a high price. But, you know, we can make money at even lower than today's price. So that's why we will be in production and, and shipping fairly soon is our plan. So just for those shareholders out there that are going, okay, this, this company's got uh, sustainability issues, check. We've got uranium, we've got vanadium. Can you tell us just for those new investors that may be going, hey, this is a great opportunity to get involved, a little bit more about uh, the company in general, George? Well, the company, all of our assets right now are in the United States and the state of Colorado and Utah. Seven permitted mines, past producing mines. Of course, the Sunday Complex is five uh, actual mines, five permitted mines that were operated in 2009, uh, ready to go into production. Uh, so we're waiting for, you know, obviously the vanadium market already justifies it. Uranium doesn't quite, but it, we're ready to go with the vanadium. So we'll be opening the mine to assess the very high grade vanadium that was left in that mine from the very beginning when Union Carbide was mining. So it's, it's, it's virtually ready to go for vanadium production, and vanadium today justifies production.
Well, we both know there's a large number that want a large number of companies that want vanadium or not to mention out of North America. So thank you so much for joining us today because we know you're busy on the road, you know, building this company. Thanks, Tracy. Good to talk to you.